feel like Sam Raimi made this a trilogy just to go full comedy with the last movie, but I'm all here for it. Army of Darkness was released in 1992, once again directed by Sam Raimi, starring Bruce Campbell, and like I said, a uh, huge Evil Dead fan, and this movie is just as great as, well, the first two movies. So uh, let's just go ahead and jump into this one. Uh, starting off with the good, and there's a lot to love in this movie, just like there's a lot to love in the first two movies, especially the second one. Obviously, you have Bruce Campbell back as Ash, and uh, he's thrown into medieval times in this movie, and the way he handles the whole setting is really great. Bruce Campbell obviously gives a terrific performance. Uh, he's allowed to go full comedy, full slapstick with his role this time around, and I feel like he really benefited from that because uh, he understood what he was to do with this movie and just ran with it. And it was absolutely glorious for the entire hour and a half of runtime. However, he doesn't just play Ash in this movie. He plays also the main villain of the movie, Evil Ash, who has kind of been built up throughout the trilogy of these movies. Uh, because the end of the first one teases him getting possessed. The second one has a couple scenes where he does get possessed. And this movie brings that whole arc full circle with his possessed self breaking off and becoming a completely different character. And I really like the way he plays the evil Ash as well. Especially in the third act of the movie where he's gone just full crazy evil. Uh, you just played it really well. Bruce Campbell is just one of those actors who can do stuff like that. And also you have um, a lot of other really great characters in this movie. Uh, just about every supporting character does a really good job. Even though they aren't really in it a whole bunch. Because this one is full on mainly Ash in this movie. And a lot of different versions of Ash. But uh, just really love um, the character interactions within this movie. Which again are mainly just Bruce Campbell interacting with himself. But they were just hilarious. And I really like the story here. Obviously like I said uh, Ash is thrown into medieval times. And he has to help this uh, royal village uh, destroy the deadites. And the evil that the Necronomicon brings. And I just... Once again, really love how it all plays out with the comedy aspect. And the first movie in this trilogy was full-on horror. The second one had a perfect mix of horror and comedy. Where this one is just full-on slapstick comedy at this point. But it just works here. Where a lot of comedic sequels for other franchises don't exactly work because they feel unnatural in becoming a comedy. This one feels 100% natural because it was slowly built up from the first movie into the second movie and then into this one. So the whole inclusion of slapstick comedy just feels natural here. And I just really love how it played out. You got some really great slapstick scenes, especially a scene where Ash is going after miniature versions of himself in this abandoned shack. And then there's a really funny scene where Ash is trying to pick out a book, um, pick out which version of the Necronomicon is correct, and everything just starts to go wrong when he picks a wrong book. And I just really love the way he reacts to it. He goes through this whole ordeal to get the wrong book closed, and he just goes, wow, wrong book. Just really, really great, uh, really great interactions between Ash and all the situations he gets himself in. And obviously you got some really great action. Um, not very much on the Deadites in this movie. Uh, there's a couple Deadites, yes, but the villains are mainly just uh, stop-motion skeletons, but it's still really fun to watch. And uh, the stop motion on the skeletons is really, really great. 
and the practical effects are really well done. The body horror, especially with Evil Ash, uh, really well done. Uh, obviously expected from Sam Raimi at this point. And then you have a great score and a great soundtrack. And an ending that I feel perfectly caps off this franchise. If this was the last Evil Dead movie we would have ever gotten, I feel like it was a perfect cap off to this franchise. Uh, but I'm really glad this was not the last entry into the franchise, but we'll get more on that uh, later on down the road. And uh, that's about all for the good, on to the bad, and I'm not even going to waste your time. Like Evil Dead 2, there's nothing bad here. So, on to the final thoughts, I just absolutely love this movie. It's, f it's absolutely hilarious, uh, so much fun. Army of Darkness is one of the greatest third entries to a franchise that I have ever seen, and I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. So that was my thoughts on Army of Darkness. Have you seen this movie? Uh, let me know down in the comments what you thought about it, if you have. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.